Well, the Irish Classical Theatre is giving us a sneak peek into their new production of the Fitzgeralds of St. Paul. Here to talk about it is Danny and Christy. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thanks for having us. Of course. I want you to tell us first what this musical is all about. Sure. Uh, so uh, the Fitzgeralds of St. Paul uh, is a two-actor musical about the life and marriage of F. Scott and Zelda Fitzgerald, who mm -hmm. were uh, literary figures from the 1920s and 30s. F. Scott Fitzgerald, of course, wrote The Great Gatsby. Yeah. And uh, it dives into their complicated relationship that was marred by addiction and mental health struggles and professional jealousy and plagiarism and all sorts of wild things. Um, but it, it really focuses on the personal life of the two of them and the wild, reckless life that they lived. Okay, alrighty. Let's talk about what it means for you guys to be able to put on this show for the first time in Buffalo. Yeah, uh, we're really excited about it. Christy and I have been working on the show together for a while. Christy wrote the show and I'm just directing the show. Um, and we met in high school, actually. <laughs> Christy was actually in middle Aww. school in Indiana. Um, and so it means a lot to us to finally do this show after working on it for so long that Irish Classical wanted to put it on. And also, um, F. F. Scott Fitzgerald spent uh, a fair amount of his childhood in Buffalo. So that's cool, too. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. That's, yeah. That is pretty cool. So how long did it take you to write the show? Gosh, I mean, we've been working on it for 10 years. Um, oh. And a lot of that's been rewriting. The first chunk of it took about a year, and then you know we've done concerts and readings and workshops. But this is the very first time that we're putting it on its feet mm -hmm. in front of an audience. So we're really excited. Okay. When is this production running? It is uh, opening this Friday, the 8th, and it runs through the 24th. Okay. And uh, you can get tickets at irishclassical.com. Okay. So um, tell us a little bit about the music from the show. Uh, well, the music is drawn from the musical styles of the time. They're, they're famous for being uh, emblematic of the jazz age, and so the music is very uh, jazz-inflected. It's, yeah. it's very much the, the musical styles of the 20s, 30s, and 40s, and the Broadway, Tin Pan Alley, uh, Great American Songbook, you know, Irving Berlin and uh, Gershwin and Cole Porter and uh, people like that. All the greats. Yeah. yeah, that that real classic jazz, um, and when you think Broadway from the 20s, that's yeah. kind of the vibe that we're going to be getting from this music. Totally. That's right, that's right. It's kind of like it's um, both kind of trying to be in that period as a production, but also feel very now, you know? Um, so it really, like, the themes that it's dealing with feel very urgent, and 2024, they have to do with, like, you know, vivacious people who are struggling with mental health mm -hmm. um and um yeah it just ultimately is a very beautiful story and the world has been obsessed with the two of them ever since they were alive and there's a reason because we really kind of all see ourselves in them in some way what do you want what do you want the takeaway from this show to be or i guess from these characters that's an interesting question i think partially i really want people to uh take an interest in them and learn more about the people behind their favorite books. Yes. Um, but also, uh, you know, this story is a memory play uh, in which our Zelda, the main character, is looking back on her life and trying to explain her life. And I'm a, a big believer that we're not always kind to ourselves when we look back on the stories, uh, the story of our life and our memories. And I'm hoping that people walk away from this with a little more compassion for themselves when they look back on their lives and their decisions. And it seems like there is kind of more of a focus on, on Zelda. Very much so. That was very deliberate because yeah. her story gets kind of overshadowed. Yeah, yeah. especially because he's the one with the, the famous book that we all have to read in high school. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was what drew me to writing about them in the first place is what a, uh, an integral part of their story she was and wanting to, to bring that to people who may not necessarily know about her. Mm -hmm. We're getting a sneak peek right now. Tell us about the song you have uh, your performers ready to do for us. So um, Shannon O'Boyle and Jewel Wilson Bridges, who plays Zelda and F. Scott Fitzgerald, are gonna sing the song Dry, which is at the place in the show where we're celebrating them the most for their kind of like insane going through Paris, getting drunk everywhere, being <laughs> like, you know, like sort of young, uh, that young uh, and socialites, drunk in love. you know, yes. young, beautiful and like, you know, Drunk in Paris. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. And Bridget Moriarty is playing the piano. Okay. Please take it away, you guys. Ebony piano keys in the parlor of the Hotel Dita Lee. We found sweet syncopation. 
Shine in the margins of the songs But there were fleas in the filigree Of every velveteen city As we watched the men from the embassy Scratch deep behind their palms Not enough life to do the living Not enough time to live the life Just gin and prayers That tomorrow's more forgiving And idle thoughts of what it's like To screw someone else's wife Just enough get up and go For the rodeo dough Just enough coins in the bank And gas in the tank to get us by Tomorrow we'll have to pay For what we've done today But tonight we're gonna drink As if they'll never bleed us dry Darling, darling, hurly burly with the girls in organdy and lace and strings of pearls. They made a proper a guess, but had nothing much to say. We got too churlish with sons of earls. We got turned around in their social worlds, and we later found that the baby's curls were rinsed in the bidet. Not enough sleep to do the dreaming. Not enough day. Just cheap champagne for a million dollars scheming And fingers crossed eventually we'll learn to earn our keep Just enough parlay francais to not give us away Just enough how do you do, comment allez-vous to get us by Tomorrow je vais payer pour tout que je fais today But tonight we're gonna drink as if they never bleed us dry one for the road, two for the road. We're legendary for a wit that tends to linger on the air. And anywhere we deign to sit, they instantly rename the chair. And you're up once we're done with it. Well, sorry, folks, there's nothing there. We burned it to the ground. We burned it to the ground. But the money spent And home's a picture postcard That got damaged in the mail And once you figured out what it meant Your agent's taken his 10% And the rag that's printing your discontent Is barely paying scale Not enough First use. you take a drink, then the drink takes a drink Then the drink takes you, then the drink takes you Not enough time Honey, do you think, do you think, do you think I'm on to something new? Just memories of confusing drunk with clay in all the world who wants to hear the truth just enough ill-gotten gains left for what still remains just enough ink in the pot and lipstick to blood to get us by tomorrow we'll make them pay to hear what we've done today but tonight we're gonna drink as if they never bled us dry no, never. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, viewers. You can catch the Fitzgeralds of St. Paul at the Irish Classical Theatre Company between November 8th and 24th. Find tickets and more information at theirishclassical.com.